debuted on Billboard's jazz chart last week at number six. That's the 12th LP for the four-time Grammy winner. The contemporary jazz guitarist cut his first album in 1975. Of course, to sell a lot of records, a jazz artist has to spend most of his time on the road playing live. And for Matheny, that's just great because being on the road is the perfect groove. say just before we go out on the road I can't wait to get out on the road and get some rest because it's about the only time in my life where there's like a day-to-day -day regular thing that you get into when you're on the road really all you got to worry about is what time is the sound check what time is the concert and you know it, it for me it's a lot less stressful than you know regular life you know I really enjoy it I try to be conscientious about the audience I mean I try to keep in mind you know somebody's shelling out 20 bucks for him and 20 bucks for his date and they had to like take a shower and get in the car and drive 40 minutes to come to some weird place out in the middle of nowhere to hear us play I see him every year so you know this is nothing new it's new for her though so that's gonna be something I promised her to be good otherwise I'm gonna be in trouble Oh, I like I like his music. It's it's kind of airy and just um, you can kind of dream to it. It's very melodic. I try to tell a story when I play, and this this is a, a quality that I've always admired in my favorite players as as improvising musicians like John Coltrane or you know uh, Lester Young, Wes Montgomery. Jim Not to forget, I do play electric guitar, which is the instrument that a whole generation grew up with. Lyle Mays and I have been playing together for about 13 years now. Lots of times you hear guitar players and piano players stepping all over each other, particularly in jazz, and we both were aware of those difficulties and really decided we'd make it a project to try and get a blend happening between the guitar and piano and it's it's been uh, you know a continual evolution ever since Pedro Aznar is a young musician that I met in Rio de Janeiro in 1980 he's just exceptional he can play all these different instruments and mainly he's got a voice that's just like direct from heaven or something great singer If you would like to see Pat Metheny in person, you too can go on the road and travel to Tucson, Phoenix, or Los Angeles this week to see him. Unless you live in those cities, then you don't have to go on the road. Next.